Hello, hello friends, how are you? It has been long. I was on a short break, but now I'm back. Now expect more. We will be doing blossoms of the savannah and the KCSE English papers revision. So be ready for more. In today's video, we are going to do blossoms of the savannah. That is chapter four. And we are still on characterization. So we're going to analyze the characters in chapter four. Watch to the end. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And I really, really appreciate that. Chapter 4 is the homecoming ceremony whereby Olekailo is being welcomed in Nasila. We have several characters, but we're going to start with Olekailo. And the first trait of Olekailo is generous. You remember, according to this book in this chapter, there is that stereotype. The people from Ilmolelian clan are stereotyped and they are said to be generous. And those from Ilmakesen clan are stingy. Lekailo proved to be generous. Why? Because in the homecoming ceremony, he did what? Let's check page 38, the second paragraph. He slaughtered a fattened ox, six rams, and four he goats. So the fact that he was able to prepare all that meals for the people shows that he is generous. And number two, he is short-tempered. From the beginning of the novel, we saw that Ole Kailo is a short-tempered man and still he is. Page 40 to 41. Page 40. Aha, the last paragraph. Almost at the end. Her father winced, grimaced, and struggled to control his temper. Uh, his temper. That was not a day to get angry. He is always an angry man. And again on page 41, the first paragraph, the last line, he clicked his tongue irritably and quickly left the room. And number three, he is dictatorial or authoritarian. And this is a person who expects and questioning obedience and remember he denied Tayo an opportunity or the chance to go to the music extravaganza but then look at what he said his words were authoritative or showed that he is an authoritative or a dictator page 44 to page 45 the last paragraph starting the second line he curtly refused to grant her permission and angrily disallowed any further discussion on that matter, effectively crushing any hopes uh, she may have developed of making music her career. He stated categorically that no daughter of Ole Kailo, hmm, see that line, no daughter of Ole Kailo will so demean herself and her family as to perform in public exchange of monetary Okay, so authoritative and um, you see he did not even want to listen to Tayo's opinion lastly he is emotional imagine on the kind of crying and he saw that people had come to the homecoming ceremony in great number he had to shed tears page four zero the first paragraph hey we check that uh, Nakuru, only the promise of monetary payment would have induced uh, such, a large, such a large number of young men and women to turn up. With trembling lips and tears welling in his eyes, he saw under his breath that never again in his life would he ever abandon the culture of his people or live outside his clan. Now I move to the second character, that is Olekailo's brother, Uncle Simiren. And Simiren and he's a traditionalist. He values culture so so much. When he saw Tayo and Joseph having a conversation, he told Mama Milano that they are brother and sister simply because they belong to the same clan, that is the Ilmolelian clan. And people from the same clan cannot intermarry or have any heterosexual relationship. That is on page 48 and page 49. Page 29, you are wrong again. Simiren said, Simiren said smilingly abroad, it is simply this young man whose name is Joseph Parmuat is a brother to your daughter. Parmuat, Parmuat, his father is of the clan of Ilmo Lelian, of Indo-Russia Kinegi sub-clan like ourselves. 
it is therefore not only a great abomination uh, if we were to allow the ignorance to desecrate Nasila cultural values, but the illicit contact will be a taboo that is found that is bound to have untold consequences on us all. Tayo and one. She is talented because she had excelled in music. That is why she was awarded and gallanted. Page 4-4, four, four, uh, the third paragraph. Her heart warmed up when she recalled the numerous occasions when she excelled in music festivals and was awarded and gallanted. Broadcasting stations recognized her talent and encouraged her to make music as a career. She is caring and when she saw the old man struggling to eat mutton, she had to serve her a meal that is a plate of rice, potatoes and beans. That is on page 50. Seeing uh, the second last paragraph in the middle, seeing how much she struggled, obviously with very little success, she had sympathized. She had gone to the kitchen, fetched a plate of rice, peas, beans, and potatoes, and handed it to him. And on the same note, we can say that she is sympathetic because she sympathized with the old man again. On the same, uh, seeing how much uh, he struggled, obviously with little success she had sympathized with him second last character we have old ole musanka and this is the man who performed the the homecoming ceremony and one he is wise if you check his words in that chapter they are few words and they are full of wisdom see what he said about the pillars of a home and what he said about Ole Kailo being a tiny strand of air that has been blown away by the wind. And now that the tiny strand of air is coming back, the owner of the head cannot refuse to receive the strand back. But then it, will, it is the work of the strand to blend with the, the other hair of the remaining hair in the head. So that is on page 51. I want you to read uh, page 51 to page 52, uh, uh, Pillars of a Home, and then we have Ole Kailo being compared to that tiny strand of hair, short and full of wisdom. He's a traditionalist, and this is because he values Nasila culture, that is female genital mutilation. And he told Tayo and Tracia not to listen to crusaders such as Mene and Ngotwe who were fighting against the FGM or the Ma culture and he even goes to an extent of cursing Minik. May she go down with the sun. Page 52, the second last paragraph. Then he had a parting shot of Tayo and listen. Do not listen to crusaders of an alien culture that is being perpetrated by a certain Entangoroi called Emakerere. The words advocates that maintain it so you know our daughters taba may she go down with the setting sun and lastly we have joseph parmoat he is dependable he learned this from uncle simirin he told mama milanoi on page 48 from it simirin answered reassuringly in fact he is one of the finest and dependable young men that we have in Nasila and that is the end so in case you have anything to add you can let me know what can you say about Mama Milanoi have you found any trait of Mama Milanoi in the chapter please let me know and thank you thank you so much for watching uh, in case you have any question just write me in the comment section and and I'll be very happy to interact with you. Thank you so much once more and bye-bye. See you next time.